welcome to Lothar's Guitar School and today it's gear talk time again. We'll talk about a comparison of uh, preamp tubes uh, with my boogie amp here. We'll talk about the original 12AX7 which is an ECC83. Uh, I brought an ECC81 which has only 60% of the amplification. I brought an 12 AY7 which has 44% of the amplification and also a fourth one which is an ECC82 which has only 17%. Um, I looped uh, a few licks, uh, distorted and clean and we'll check it and compare uh, the sound and the volume. The tubes used are the original Mesa 12AX7 and the others are JJ's ECC81, 12AY7 and an ECC82. And here we go first with the ECC83 which is a 12AX7, the original one by Mesa in uh, the clean mode uh, with a double stop lick. And now with the rhythm part. And the distorted part in the lead setting. To make things not too complicated, I left the settings all the same. So uh, volume is 5, treble 6, bass 3, middle 4, the lead master is at 2, the lead driver is at 7 and the overall master is at 5 and the back we have uh, the presence at about 6. And I leave it all the same and uh, switch the valves and you'll see they have less volume. And then I will raise the volume by adding volume in the first stage in the volume 1 here so that they have about the same loudness. And now with the ECC81 about the same setting. And now with about the same volume. The same for the distorted sound, same setting. And now distorted about the same volume. Okay, and now for the next tube. And now with the 12 AY7, the double stop lick first in the same position. about the same volume. Now the rhythm lick, clean, same setting. And now about the same volume. the distorted lick, uh, same setting. And now about the same volume. And now for the ECC83 in the rhythm clean mode, uh, the double stock lick first in the same setting. Here we go. And now with about the same volume. Now for the clean rhythm lick. About the same volume now. And 
last the distorted rhythm lick. And now with about the same volume. And I also did it with a pink noise generator, so that's always the same. That's pretty much the gain setting taking from the send output with an ACC83. And that's the same amp setting with an ECC81. And you see uh, it has about uh, 6dB less in the maximum. This is, uh, is a 3dB scale, so it's two LEDs down and it's minus 6dB on, on the top here. And it was before it was on zero. And uh, the amplification on the factor on the other one was 100 and this one was 60, so that's about half the amount. This is now the 12AY7 and you see it's about 12 dB down from the ECC83. You see this line here, those LEDs are minus 12 dB now. If the ACC83 has 100%, then the AY7 has about 44%. This is now the setting with an ECC82 and you see uh, it's a lot lower, this is the lowest. If ECC83 is 100%, this one is considered 17%. And you see on the scale, we are down at the minus 20 dB scale. So this is a lot less power that this tube gives us. I guess you can hear when you change to tubes with a lesser amplification, the result is less volume and a thinner sound. But when you raise the input level to about the same loudness, the result is an almost equal sound. So by changing to tubes with the lesser amplification, you just basically change the range of your volume pot. Do you agree? This was a gear talk uh, today about comparison of ECC83, ECC82, 12AY7 and ECC81. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you soon again at Lothar's Guitar School. Take care. Bye bye.